For this next upcoming semester at work, I made it one of my top priorities to attend a conference. So when I got the organization-wide email that there was a Women Impact Tech conference happening just in downtown Seattle, I asked my manager if I could sign up right away. Luckily, Microsoft was sponsoring it, so I got to attend for free. I found out the night before the attire is business casual, which if you work in tech, you know that we dress very casually. And I don't remember the last time I dressed business casual. So I put together an outfit last minute. Honestly, I think if you throw a blazer over almost anything, it counts as business casual. It was a beautiful venue. It was at the Bell Harbor International Conference Center. There was a conference stage room, there was a lounge area, there was a booth area where different companies were recruiting, kind of reminiscent of career fair from college. And I mostly went to listen to the speakers. Sometimes I have a bone to pick with these women in tech conferences because I feel like sometimes the message comes across as telling women how they can do better, what they're doing wrong, as opposed to addressing the gender inequalities that we have in our society. I felt a mix of both uh, at this conference, but it was still motivating and I still had a very positive experience, but I wanted to acknowledge that. Panel sessions, as well as from our keynote speakers, going probably in the next. I will do. Hi, Jenny. 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 Hi,
My friend and I, we went thrift shopping in U District in Seattle. That was also fun. I am in the market for summer clothes as the weather is getting warmer and warmer. I guess as part of the contract between Julian and I's relationship, somewhere in the fine print, I signed and agreed to watch every Liverpool Championship League game with Julian. So we spent the first half of the day trying to find a place to watch Liverpool play in the Championship League. Every bar was absolutely packed and I was starving, so I wasn't willing to wait for food. We ended up going to a diner first to get some breakfast and prop up our phones to watch the game. After the diner, we eventually made our way into one of the bars and we had to stand for most of the time until I finally found a stool to sit on. And this took about three hours, so it was a long game, but I actually got really into it. It was pretty intense. It was an intense game and unfortunately Liverpool lost and Julian was sad. Later that day though is when the fun begins. took a road trip out to Sandwich, Washington to go to this oyster farm that my friend told me about and it was so cool. The whole experience was fun. Like everyone's trying oysters. This farm is right on the water. We're seeing boats fish for oysters while we eat and it was a really cool experience. Also the drive there was absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, we were still a little hungry after oysters so we ended up going to another restaurant and that's where I got another burger. Thank you. Thank you. 